Today we are going to be doing something that I know you guys have been waiting for for quite a long time. I made a little video watching Black Mirror's Bandersnatch, I think like maybe three years ago. And ever since then, you guys always want me to watch Black Mirror. And I've decided to stray away from it because I thought it was too big of a world to dive into for a little old me. But I'm older, wiser, and hotter and I've decided that I'm going to be tackling Black Mirror. Today, we're going to be watching the top three episodes of Black Mirror, and this includes all the seasons except for season six. For season six, I'm gonna do an entire video dedicated to just the four episodes, I believe, that are within season six. And if you guys like this video enough, I can cover all the Black Mirror episodes doing three episodes at a time. Today, we are going to be watching three episodes of Black Mirror. We are going to be watching White Bear, Shut Up and Dance, and we are going to be watching San Junipero. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I do have to say, these are some of my favorite episodes of Black Mirror is subverting your expectations and subverting the narrative of what's going on. That is, it's such a simple thing to do by just switching who the bad guy is of the story, but it, it just is heaven to me. It's heaven to see the, the narrative shift just at the last like five minutes. It's an amazing twist that just makes everything so much juicier and it makes like watching it a second time so much better. And I think two of the episodes that we watched today is subverting your expectations within the, um, within the episode and having you root for the completely wrong person of the story. Also, if you thought I was gonna catch any Easter eggs, you're actually so stupid because I don't, I don't do that. I watch videos of other people explaining Easter eggs. I don't catch Easter eggs. I've watched every Black Mirror ending explained. Don't think I haven't. Even if it's the most straightforward plot of like San Junipero or Hang the DJ, like I'm watching Black Mirror Hang the DJ ending explained like every single time. I want someone to feed me the plot like it is like i'm a baby ending explained videos are like a comfort a true comfort to me and there's nothing else like them it feels like a big warm hug after watching a really suspicious movie so thank you to ending explained channels i would be nothing if it weren't for you is that one of the 21 pilots? Is that Debbie Ryan's husband? I did not know he was in Black Mirror. That is so crazy. Did you guys know that he was in Black Mirror? Because I definitely didn't. Dude, one of the freaking best ways to open up an episode. Like, it gives nothing and it is so great at the same time. Do you know who I am? Please. The fact that they have kids in there is kind of crazy though, right? That's where I'm kind of like, ooh, that is kind of crazy. Everything else I'm like, okay, I'll let you have it. But the kids I'm like, hold on. The kids should not be there. That is not the person from 21 Pilots. Um, that's not Debbie Ryan's boyfriend. That's not him. Oh, I don't like watching this now that I've already seen it. Like, I don't want to watch this. This is why I haven't watched this stupid goddamn episode again, because it's like, I don't want to watch it again. Like, it literally makes me so physically ill watching it again. But what if in, what if in one scenario of this, like one telling of this, she just kind of sits in the house all day? Do they just come in and get her? Or does it always take her through the mission regardless? Dude, she's such a good actress because she looks so whack out in every single shot. She looks scared. I mean, she's just like me, but like for real. Dude, her just saying like, I'm a human being is like, her pleading and just being like, I'm a human being is, it's so fucking hard. This episode is so fucking hard. It puts you in the worst fucking position to watch it. Like, 
what do you say to this? Like what, what part of this is fair? What part of this is unfair? Like is this crime worth the punishment? And I'm not saying that there's not an answer to that. I'm just, these are the questions that this episode brings up. It also goes into Oh, what is exploited? What is entertainment? What are we as a society consuming and feeding into that is this like gnarly obsession? People watching trials, people going to watch like very public trials, people being obsessed with true crime. I hate this fucking episode. I hate it because it is so, it is impossible to watch and just like be like chill like, you have to critically watch it and think about what it's even saying and there's so many interpretations and there's so many conversations that this episode can provoke i think it's wonderful i love any black mirror episode that can make me go on our tangents this is one of them i freaking love it let's go Sorry guys, I'm not even saying much because I'm just waiting for that reveal. Like I, it's just too good of a reveal to not wait for it. Like I just need to keep my mouth shut. You guys were waiting for a commentary where I don't speak. Here it is. So I'm silent. So. This is how I feel when I'm in like a haunted house. Like I definitely feel like they're just like playing with me. It's like, stop, like stop playing with me. I'm just trying to survive. I'm just trying to like, make it out the other end unscathed and you're like you're really messing with me right now <laughs> bruh no way no fucking way i knew it was coming but it still gets me every single time the mass applause, all the people that she was seeing when she was in the neighborhood, like... But it's time to tell you who you are. This is so fucked up. I know it, I, this is just so fucked up. But I tell you what you are, though. <laughs> You're famous. You're famous. Victoria Skelaine finally concluded today the verdict. Yeah, she didn't look too, um... Together with her fiance, Ian Rannick, she didn't look too ashamed in that mugshot. <laughs> Uh, like, I don't know what you are supposed to say to that. That is fucking crazy. And it also adds to it that the fiance killed himself and then they were like, the public was like, oh, we are not letting this bitch get away with it. Like, it's like this fiend to get justice somehow from somebody. And I think like the main, the episode isn't over, but I, the main point of the end of the episode is that like, there is no justice that can be done when an innocent life is lost. That doesn't mean that I think everyone should get off and like be free. I'm just saying that like, for anyone that is a victim of something like that, the family members of the victim, like there is simply nothing that can be done to bring their loved one back and it cannot bring back it cannot bring them justice which i think is like what the end goal of this episode is not the end goal but i think it's like one of the many ways to interpret this episode is that like yes this is really fucked up and someone is getting punished but it is it justice does this punishment equal justice and I think that's a really interesting question to ask yourself when asking about capital punishment. But let's continue this episode because there's more things that they talk about that I, I wanna talk about. And it's just all very eerie. It's all very eerie because then he goes into what is okay to exploit and in turn is this also exploiting the death of the little girl um, it's like documentaries, biopics. Is this showing light on something or is this just exploiting someone's story and someone's death? Is this turning this um, tragic event into entertainment? And I think that this episode holds a lot more in it than you probably realize. Like you might just be thinking it's talking about capital punishment, but then also goes into a lot of stuff about entertainment and and fans and and this this uh, viewer role that we all play into when we consume um, news. It's fucking crazy. Because then I think if I was the parent of Jemima, what I think this is like, I don't know, I've never, uh, would I, even if it was for like a justice, re, a justified reason, would I want my daughter to be a part of this show every single night? 
no, I wouldn't. I would want my daughter to be able to rest. Even if the people are being like, she's guilty, fuck that bitch, like all that type of shit. I don't think I would want my daughter. I don't think I want my daughter in any, in any part of that. So it's best to keep your distance at least three meters back. You can use your camera zoom. Dude, it's so fucking sick. Like the mix between like the Truman Show and like the most fucked up thing you've ever seen in your entire life. Like not saying that the Truman Show isn't fucked up, but it's like that as punishment. It's like not chill at all. Almost all Black Mirror episodes strike conversation and make you think a little bit about grand topics like that. But this one just strikes a chord because it dives into so many different territories of the lives that we live in involving, you know, obviously technology, crimes and, and, and capital punishment and, and, and justice, which I feel like is like a really big time that we're in right now. What is justice? What is um, justice for those who have suffered? And you ask yourself, is this white bear justice park what gives the family and the little girl the most justice and i still believe even though i wouldn't care really what happens to a nasty ass criminal who would kill an innocent little girl and torture her on camera don't care about them i would care about how it affects the family and the little girl's um legacy within life i think that like dragging on the death is like so damaging to the little girl and i think that's a part of the white bear that we don't really dive that deep into is we focus in on her and, and and what's happening to her when she's in the in the park and if it's right that it's happening to her but i think that the question that i more focus on is if it is justified, if it is justice for the little girl. Plot twist. One of the biggest plot twists within Black Mirror is White Bear's plot twist of her being the, the criminal of the story and her not being this character that we should sympathize with. She is not this innocent person being chased. She is actually a fucked up criminal who committed crimes and that's how she got into the situation. It's time for everyone's favorite episode of Black Mirror. This is the freaking episode that everyone shows. This is the episode that if you're smart enough, you'll show people first instead of the national anthem. Today we're gonna be watching Shut Up and Dance. This is the episode that everyone suggests. Everyone everyone says it's their favorite episode and I don't blame you if this is your favorite episode or even if it's your least favorite episode. I think it's a really hard to watch episode and the, the subject matter in it is, is Oh, so hard to watch. I love the overarching theme of Black Mirror of like, who deserves this? Like who deserves this fucked up shit to happen to them? Like that is one of the best things about like almost all the episodes is like, who deserves this? Who really does deserve this? And I know a few people that do. <laughs> I, can, I could give you a list of a few people that deserve to be blackmailed. <laughs> I don't. Someone forgot this. Oh, thank you. What'd you say? Thank you. It's all right. She forgets everything. Thanks again. Just don't watch Black Mirror episodes. Once you've seen it once, like just don't watch it again because you'll watch these scenes and it just, it makes me like sick to my stomach because it's just so fucking, it's so small of a scene, but it's so fucking sick. Now that you think about it, this has a very similar format of um, White Bear. It's a similar aspect of like punishment and who is the right person to give out that punishment, right? Which I love, I think it's a wonderful topic. The fact that he, okay, in terms of what we know it by the end of the episode, the fact that he didn't already have a lock on his door kind of seems weird. Like you were that confident that you were not gonna get caught. Like you're a freak and that's even more disturbing. I'm gonna start sending that email to people even if I don't know anything about them. I'm just gonna send like a mass email chain and just like, I know what you did. I don't know what they did. I don't have any information on them, but that'd be really funny if I just started sending that to people anonymously. 
Also, raise your hand if you didn't understand what happened at the end of this episode the first time you watched it, because I didn't. I watched this episode for the first time and I had no idea what in the world any of the ending me meant. I was like, I don't know why it's such a big deal. Cause I was actually stupid. Because I was actually stupid and I basically just didn't watch the episode because I was like, I don't understand like why this cop showed up. Because I'm stupid, like, cause I'm actually stupid. But then I talked to other people and some people didn't understand it too. There's a lot of people that on the first watch, you don't understand what's happening. And I completely sympathize, I empathize and I relate to you because I did not really understand what was going on the first time I watched it either, so. There is nothing more than I wish than to have watched this for the first time in a theater. Like I know it's not a movie and it's not that part of it that I'm like, oh my God, it's so cinematically amazing that I need to see it in the theater. I just wish I was with like a huge group of people when I watch this for the first time. And I feel like most people that watch this for the first time were alone. I wish I freaking was with like a huge group of people who had hadn't seen it. Like that would have just made my day. That would have just been epic to just see everyone's face melt off. Cause it's just so awful. Like it is like the most awful thing to watch. Pin number 3109, say that back to me. Uh, visa card. Just the number. Uh, this th 3109. Okay, go. They chose the best fucking person to play him because he's so like innocent looking and innocent speaking. Like he has this high mousy voice. He's actually the worst person in the whole fucking world. Who is driver? Who is robber? Also, I will say, I don't really understand this whole notion to rob the bank. Like. In the scheme of like the hackers, I don't really get why it's so beneficial to them because it's seen as like the prize money, but I don't really see how it helps them at all because I don't think the hackers end up getting the money anyways. Maybe I'm just like stupid. Most of the times I have questions about movies. It's not because the movie is confusing. It's because I'm actually stupid. Ending explained, come back. Black Mirror, ending explained. Come back! Just weeks, we're talking years here. My pictures hang about on Google like a gypsy fucking curse. There's no cure for the internet. It would never go away. It would be glued to your name, a fucking stain on you. He really made even just him jacking off seem like the worst thing in the world. Which like also like just automatically just jacking off on camera without the added element of that motherfucker is, I would be mortified if that happened to me, obviously. But him making just that part of it seems so crazy, so awful. And then the added but added fact that he's like freaking out because there's this whole other element that he doesn't even know about. Ew! Why have I got to do it? What do you mean? The fact that he acts so like fucking like confused during the whole thing, it makes it even worse. Like when you watch it for a second time, you're like, you're so fucking smug about everything. You're like, why would I have to do it? I'm just a little innocent boy. It's actually like you're fucking rodent. Like you're worse than a fucking rodent. You're literally foul, disgusting. I know it's a fictional character. I know he's a fictional character, but like just watching him pisses me the fuck off because he acts so innocent during the entire episode he acts so sad and so innocent during the entire episode and then when you find out what he does it just fucking makes me want to slap like i oh if i saw him in the street something horrible would go down like i literally would oh i want to like cheese grater his skin i didn't know that was in me how young were they in the pictures <sighs> For me too. Ew, 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 ew. From you what a the fucking, your heart just drops through this ending. It's so fucking, it, it makes you feel so empty and pointless when you watch this, em this ending. It, there's nothing worse than this ending because you just feel completely hollowed out. Like for you, you were invested for no fucking reason. And fuck you for using this song. Cause I love this song. I don't like it that they use that, but I digress. So. It's not for my generation. So it just seems like really like corny.
Like, words cannot describe the horror that fills in your stomach while watching this. So glad he didn't get away with that. But also, the way they set it up makes it so you can't even be like... You, that's the, the, that's the thing about Black Mirror. No matter if it's a happy ending or if it's not a happy ending, you cannot feel good about what you just watched. National Anthem, perfect example. The princess is saved. You, everyone feels like shit at the end of it. Same thing with this. People that did wrong things, you cheated on your spouse with a prostitute, you were an actual pedophile, you were racist and email. Like you get exposed for these things and it's like good that they got exposed for them. But like, I don't even feel like, I'm supposed to feel like, oh yeah, like they got like exposed, like people who are bad people got exposed for being bad. But I just feel sick to my stomach after watching it. I've never watched this episode and actually felt but like work. Like I'm glad he got arrested. I'm glad that like he didn't just get away with what he did, but oh my fucking God. It is the most disturbing episodes ever. Everything about it is just so disturbing. From beginning to the end, re like watching it, looking back on your previous thoughts about the entire episode, it just is a face melting ending. And that's the only way to describe it. It, it again, evokes a lot of different conversations, uh, specifically turning into blackmail. Uh, it goes into a lot of different uh conversations about uh the things you're willing to do to keep your secrets and also it dives into punishment what is punishment who deserves to give out punishment and is this punishment justified provokes a really good conversation about it i think that we need to think about punishment and what punishment is justified because if we're not, we're just blindly letting people get punished for things that we don't even know if we consider to be justified punishment. And this episode follows a very similar uh, theme to White Bear. It's watching this person get torn apart, get tortured, like basically just go through the ringer throughout the entire episode. And at the very last end, you realize that they most definitely deserved a lot of what happened to them and you're dealing with the most again the most innocent victims ever that they are harming kids shut up and dance is just a fucking whirlwind of an episode i would love to know your thoughts on it because it is just it's it's so much and it's also just i've never really watched something where it made me feel like this at the end like it is very much Less is more with this episode. They could have made it really crazy and really fast and like really drawn out the like dramatics of it all, but it is truly the perfect prime example of less is more. They could have made a big reveal of it all and they don't. They make it so subtle. They make it so, um, quiet that it is even more disturbing it is crazy this episode is so freaking good the, again the actors are phenomenal in this episode plot twists you cannot get a better plot twist in black mirror than this episode i'm sorry i think this is the best plot twist episode of black mirror because i don't think anyone watches this and that's what they expected to come out of it i don't think anyone could have predicted the end of the episode when they started the episode if they had no prior knowledge to Black Mirror or actually just to this episode. I don't think if I watch other Black Mirror episodes, I could have predicted that because I did watch other Black Mirror episodes before I watched this and I did not predict that. And the technology in this episode is not super crazy. It is really just all about blackmail and the internet like hackers basically. Um, and their control over people. Now it's time for every lover girl's favorite Black Mirror episode. This is San Junipero. This is possibly everything that is right with Black Mirror. It, it is unlike any other Black Mirror episode you'll watch, but it is 
something that sticks with you forever. It is just the most gorgeous, bright love story ever. I'm sorry, I will just watch it. I, I should stop talking about it because I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna goo all over it, but. Let's watch San Junipero. This is, this is for my girls. This is for my lover girls out there. And if you don't like San Junipero, you can actually go kiss my ass and fucking die. You can die in a fucking ditch if you don't like San Junipero. And I stand by that. I don't care. I really don't care. Yeah, and it's opinion people. No, you can't have your opinion. It's not a thing where you can just have an opinion and not like it. You'll like it. For Christ's sake, you will like this goddamn episode. Uh, do you want to... Uh, play top speed? Oh no. I love straight baiting. I know that was like a very significant point within the <laughs> show for her to see the car crash in the game, but also I love straight baiting so much. There's nothing more that I love than setting up a straight couple and then it doesn't happen. I just, I, I, what can I say? That's the best thing. <laughs> Sorry for killing you. The whole six months to live thing. Sorry. Five. My mother's till the end of time. This was like a huge hug to me. Like, I don't know, when you're watching Black Mirror and everything is so fucking shitty. Also, I do think this is one of the most well-crafted like visual pieces of Black Mirror. Like, and I say that because I'm a sucker for really bright lights with it, like neon lights within cinematography. I think they're one of the most gorgeous things to ever be done. And to actually capture that on film, I think is pretty difficult because working with like neon lights is pretty hard, but it's so cinematically amazing. <laughs> like when I'm watching it, I'm like, I need to see this in a the theater right now. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. You wanna get in my car? You wanna get in my freaking car? Drop through panties now. Like I'm not kidding. You never slept with a woman before. That's not a critique. I mean, it was fucking awesome. Black Mirror gave one nice episode and it was a lesbian. So think about that. Think about that. what that means. Is that the one nice episode that they gave was to the lesbians. You liked women. I like men too. Equal rights. <laughs> that is crazy. That is a crazy thing to say when you're in bed with someone. I like men too. Equal rights. Like I, that is like the most insane thing to ever say. Love the way they showcase the new era. You know that you know when I saw Scream referenced in Black Mirror, I died. I died and came back to life. Like that was that, that was in this episode specifically. Scream being referenced within San Junipero is me coded. Like that that was done for me and only freaking for me. Tell her they don't want a gay daughter. It's not natural and so forth. They fight. She gets in her car, runs it off the road. Boom. When she was twenty one. More than forty years back. I'm gonna fucking cry. She's been questioning her whole, basically her whole life since she was 21 after she came out to her parents. And she goes into the San Junipero project and she meets the love of her life. And her love of her life is dying in three months and they have to choose whether they pass over together. You don't understand how important this is to me. You don't understand how important this is to me. <laughs> Greg seems great, but why not someone you connect with? Could you be my own? She always wanted to be a woman. Because her doing it is like she always wanted. She never got to live her life even to a car crash. Achilles like ever she's married. I don't want anyone to talk to me right now. I don't want to. I'm trying not to let any of my tears fall because I like my makeup today. To help you pass over as a kindness. It's not so kind to leave. What do you mean marrying you? Like she already had someone that married her. You love her and you want to be with her selfish. forever. But what he did, it was selfish actually. It's oh my God. Yearning, the laughter, the love of it, the Fucking love, you just cannot know. Oh, I wonder why she can't know. <laughs> I wonder why she can't know. Kelly! 
I agree with both sides. Pause. I agree with both sides. But also, like, why would you do such a grand gesture just to leave? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, I literally agree with both sides. I understand why Kelly has, like, a very... Or I understand why Yorkie has a very, like... A pinhole view of life because she didn't get to live her life and she's like why would you want to stay here like I didn't even get to live my life and now I'm here but then I also understand Kelly's point of view where she's like girl like my daughter died and I don't know where she is and she didn't get this chance but then I also think I'm like well Kelly I mean I wouldn't have done that grand gesture for her if I was just gonna be like you know what I mean I don't know whose side would you pick just tears you apart because what would you do what would you do if you were in that situation like i would definitely pass over but that's me because i literally just want more and more and more from life and if i could pass over to something like that i definitely would J san Junipero, if that was a real thing oh for sure i'm signing up I'm, I'm uploading myself to the cloud instantly but i know there's a lot of people who wouldn't so if you are one of the people that wouldn't jump over to San Junipero. Why is that? Because I want to know. Because I think it's just like, of course I would. Because they say you can exit the game whenever you want to. So I would just be like, yeah, fuck it. And she's back in the car, baby. Yeah. There's just nothing better than this episode, guys. There is nothing better than this episode. This is the best episode. I'm sorry, now that I'm watching it, it has to be in my top three. I, I used to not think it was in my top three, but now I'm watching it again. It has everything you need to make a good Black Mirror episode. Cause just because it's sweet, just because there's a good ending does not mean that the technology and, and the conversations that the episode provokes are not interesting. It is a fascinating conversation about death. Uh, what would you do in that scenario? Would you, upload yourself to the cloud or would you pass over naturally? I think it's a wonderful conversation. I think it is an amazing love story, summer romance, and it has, it's very emotionally impactful as well. Like literally made me cry. Like, and I love this episode for that. It touches so many parts of you. It's sad, it's happy, it's, it's cool. I love Black Mirror. I would love to do more videos on Black Mirror if you guys want to watch them. I would love to do a video on season six. Let me know what episodes of Black Mirror you want me to watch next and I will definitely get to them if you guys like this video enough. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Follow me on all my social medias. Links to them will be in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends if you liked it and definitely leave down more requests uh, for me to do videos in the future. And that is it for today, guys. I hope you liked it.